Welcome everybody. I need a better hand than that. <laughs> Not car. My business card came back. You can all get that. Yes. Hello, everybody, and welcome again to EPWA Magnificent Monday. I am happy to be the first speaker, but I would like to share with you from John Maxwell's book, Put Your Dream to the Test. And just in case some of you may not know, John Maxwell is a New York Times best-selling author. He has written over 100 books, trained over 6 million leaders around the world, and Kathy, myself, Sue McGee, we're, we're certified John Maxwell coaches, speakers, and trainers, and we help lead others and help teach them leadership and communications principles from some of John's books. His philosophy is everything rises and falls on leadership, and leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. And the hardest person to lead sometimes is yourself. Would, would some of you agree? Yeah. It's hard sometimes to lead yourself. Amen. But when you have a dream, and I have a dream, and I'm sure some of you already have your dreams, you've accomplished them, and kudos to you for that. But for those of us who are still, maybe got a new dream, then what I share with you today, if it's of value, I'll be so happy that I can impart something that will help you go back home and hopefully dust that dream off the shelf or take your dream, as uh, Sister Nora said, to another level. So. As Sister Miata mentioned, my name of my show is Rise and Shine with Dr. Sunny Fridge. That was a dream of mine um, for the last past year. And this is about my fifth week doing the show. I did another show today, and my show is about real estate dreams, as well as people, entrepreneurs, thought leaders, and others who are either acing in their business or they're overcoming challenges and they're helping others. So this show allows me to use my talents and my gifts in another way, um, helping people who want to buy, sell, or invest in real estate and achieve the American dream, as well as those who are making their dreams come true. According to John Maxwell, he says a dream is a picture and a blueprint of a per person's purpose and potential. So does your dream have potential? Those are some of the things that you'll be thinking about if you have that new dream. And there are four common reasons for people not identifying with their dreams. Discouragement. Perhaps someone at some point told you that you could not do it. And we often find that with our young people as well. At some point, there was possibly disappointment. You started your dream, and then you, know, you couldn't finish it because maybe things didn't go well, or all the right pieces of the puzzle weren't in place. Anyone ever had that experience? where you're trying to do something, maybe get your book together, or you're starting to try to get your business, and then part of that falls apart. It's about resources as well. Right. And then settling, settling. Sometimes you just feel like, well, I'm okay right here, but mediocrity is a choice. Mediocrity is a choice. Sometimes it's a lack of confidence. You don't have enough people in your life who are supporting your dream, who are telling you good things that you can do it. And that's what you need for your dream test. I asked uh, our board member, Tracy, to kind of help me out by reading the questions. So in John's book, he says there are 10 questions that you must ask yourself in the affirmative if you are going to have a good chance of realizing your dream. So let me back up a bit. The ownership question. Is my dream really my dream? Yeah, is it your dream or did at some point, you know, you wanted to be a dancer, but your folks wanted you to be a doctor or, or another dream, right? And that's not your dream all the time. The clarity question. Do I clearly see my dream? Do you see your dream? Can you focus on your dream? And you have to put the puzzle in place to get your dream to get from here to there. So you've got to have that clarity. I've been told by a lot of uh, success people that clarity is the number one thing. How do you focus on your goal and focus on your dream and take the steps to make your dream come true? I believe it's Stephen Covey who says, you must begin with the end in mind. And I kind of like that again for your dreams. If you have a dream or a goal and you look and say, hey, I want to lose weight. But that's kind of generic. 
But if you say, I want to lose weight by Christmas, now you have something to work through. Now if you say you want to lose 15 pounds by Christmas, you can kind of do it incrementally, maybe month by month, maybe two pounds, two pounds, and a, you know, another three pounds. But you can plan more if you can kind of see the steps that you need to take to make your dream come true. The reality question. Am I depending on factors within my control to achieve my dream? Some things are in your control, some circumstances are in your control, but some are not. So you have to decide what's in your control and what you're going to do about it. And some things that you can't control, you may not be able to control the situation, but you can control your response to it, your reaction to it. So as you start developing your dream, figure out what it is, the correct way, that, the best way that you might want to respond to that reality question. The passion question. Does my dream compel me to follow it? Mm. Do you like to wake up in the morning? Sometimes I like to say, oh, I can't wait to go to sleep so I can wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. There are times, not all the time, but many times I just love waking up, hitting that ground running, rising and shining. Mm. Seriously, I love doing that. <laughs> passion, we did passion, right? Yeah. Pathway. Do I have a strategy to reach my dream? Uh, again, that strategy is going to count. People. Have I included the people I need to realize my dream? Who do you have in your, your dream team? Who's part of your circle? That's what you need to know. And who do you need to keep? Who do you need to get rid of? <laughs> Just saying. And then there's the cost. Am I willing to pay the price for the, my dream? Paying the price. You've got to give up to go up. So you need to be thinking about that. All right. 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 All Question. Am I moving closer to my dream? Am I moving closer to my dream? At some point, you've got to just do that reassessment. I love those people who have those weekly or monthly calendars that at the end of the week or at the end of the month, you can look at what went right, what went wrong, and what you can do better, right? When you do things like that, you're taking stock and inventory in your life to help you move forward. And even if you don't reach that goal, you're probably going to come a lot better because sometimes it's not always about the destination, it's about the journey. And then the fulfillment question. Does working toward my dream bring satisfaction? Are you satisfied? Sometimes you may have to change the direction of your dream or you just have to change the time limit. It's not always easy, but looking at that question, does it satisfy you? Does it fulfill you? You have to make some decisions to see how then can you become more fulfilled in accomplishing your dream. Sometimes it's really hard to sit up at night trying to figure out when one guest cancels, which is what happened last night, and Todd Pastor Tanya graciously agreed to be on my show this week, but I'm always having to figure out, oh, is this worth it? But right now, I'm loving it. And then finally, significance. Does my dream benefit others? Yeah, the dream can be for yourself, but then when you're really significant, your dream is going to help others, right? And then not only just help others, but then you get to strategize and partner with other people in collaboration to make that big dream happen in your life. So I love those questions. So I'm quickly going to go over ownership. When someone else owns your dream and when you own your dream. So when someone else owns your dream, it won't have the right fit. But when you own your dream, it's going to feel right to you. When someone else owns your dream, it's going to be a way to be comfortable. When you own your dream, it's going to provide you the wings to your spirit so that you feel like soaring. When someone else owns your dream, it will drain your energy because it's not your dream. But when you own your dream, it's going to fire you up. Someone say, fire it up! Fire it up! That's right. Someone else owns your dream, it's going to put you to sleep. But when you own your dream, it will keep you up at night because you've got 90 miles a minute. Thoughts coming left and right because, oh my God, I am so excited about what I'm going to do and who is helping me. You Sometimes when you have those moments there, it's nothing like it. You're like, woo, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> when someone else owns your dream, it'll take you out of your strength zone. But when you own your dream, it will take you out of your comfort zone, but you will still be in your strength zone. I like to use the um, uh, this little analogy with the rubber band. It's most it's most useful when it's stretched, right? Just like us, we're most useful when we get stretched, when we get out of our comfort zone, but we're still in our strength zone to do what we need to do to make our dreams come true. 
And when someone else owns your dream, it will be fulfilling to others. When you own your dream, it will be fulfilling to you. When someone else owns your dream, it will require others to make you do it. But when you own your dream, you will feel you were made to do it, born to do it. Um, there is a saying, boom, I love that. Mark Twain says, the two most important days of your life are the day you are born and the day you discover why. And if your why is big enough, the how will come. And so you think about what's my why and how it's going to happen. So, bet on yourself, lead your life, love what you do, and don't get into that comparison trap. Because you're really not competing against others, maybe yourself, but not others. And if you can remember that, it gets easier because oftentimes, when you're on Facebook and you see what John and Mary and Sue and Leticia are doing, boy, it's like, whoo, what am I doing, Lord? But you can't compare yourself to others. Compare yourself to yourself. And let's see, believe in your vision. Believe in your vision. That's why you have to write it down. Write it down. I can't remember the verse, but I know it's in Habakkuk. It's about writing your vision down. Yes, make it plain. Make it plain. Make it plain. That's right. And then the other question, this is like the people question. Your dream team should include people who inspire you, who are honest with you, and whose skills complement mine, yours. As Pastor Tanya said today earlier, if she could give one piece of advice to people, surround yourself with people who want to help you, who want to uplift you, and won't mind if you rise and shine. They're okay with it. They want to see you go further and go higher, and they want to figure out how can they help you do it. But Kathy Davis asked me, would you like to speak again? And I've spoken before for her, but she blesses me time and time again, even when I may not always rise to the occasion. But I'm, I'm blessed because she's on my dream team. The cost we talked about, but you know the dream is free but the journey isn't the price must be paid sooner than you think and the price will be higher than you expect and it must be paid more than once it is possible to pay too much for your dream so you've got to decide again what do you need to do and what do you need to not do and if you're going to pay too much for your dream you're going to have to be evaluating and finally again that significant when your dream is for yourself for others and then with others and when you can say yes to those your dream is more likely to succeed and I encourage you to dare the dream prepare the dream wear the dream repair the dream repeat after me dare the dream dare the dream prepare the dream prepare the dream wear the dream wear the dream prepare the dream repair